Hey Cool Cat, we're going to dive into some more songwriting techniques so that you can write songs that help you heal when you're feeling down. The next technique is storytelling. So you can do this by recording yourself on your phone or you can write it down on paper, a little story. And we're going to use that story to sing a song. Very similar to the repeat phrase little song that we did before where we had like, uh, sad with you i think it was that <laughs> and using that sad with you sad with you sad with you too adding a word sad with you too sad with you too sad with you too or taking out a word sad you too sad you too you too you too you too you 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 you, you, do type of thing. You can add words, you can subtract words. Storytelling, we really take a literal story or have a picture of it in our minds already and then we write it out through the music. So for example, let's say we had a story of someone that's just got off of work and they're driving home and they're trying to make it home okay, right? It's something relevant and something I can kind of relate to. So the first step is to find your chord progression. Let's say we have this and we have... Well, let's make it kind of simple, something that can kind of loop over and over again. And we'll have like a... I want it to be weird. This is the process I go through. There we go. So I'm going to start out with just trying to get into the groove with a little bit of um, scatting. So first word that I'm thinking about with this story of driving home is freeway. So I'm going to just actually use the techniques we learned already to expand upon it. So we're just going to say freeway a lot. Freeway, free, this way. Okay, right, we're going to use some rhyming. Freeway, this way to get home, love. There's some words that I simply say over and over again and you just gotta feel comfortable with them and make sure you know which words they are i like using the word honey a lot i like using the word love a lot i like using the word like um home <laughs> a lot so these are kind of words i fall back on when i don't know what words to say and it's words i can change later on especially if you record yourself trying stuff out freeway Now we're kind of connecting the story into like someone wants to be home with their loved one, probably their spouse, their whoever they're dating, etc., cetera, etc., cetera, and want to make sure. That, I like to throw in something that's like tangible. That's why I was like food. <laughs> I love food, so that's why I was like they want to get home so that the food is still warm. Food's still warm. I wanna be with you. Be with you, be with you after this long drive home. Drive home from that job I just keep on doing. So there's also rhythmic improvisation. That's the type of rhythm I want to kind of throw in. I love, like, sometimes I think about songwriting like soup. Like, you just want to throw in 
the weird stuff. But not too much weird stuff, but just, you wanna keep it varied. And you, and you wanna know when it's varied enough. Don't go all the way across the world with just everything. But it really depends on your style. And what I find really helpful is throwing in something that is very syncopated. So syncopated just means that there's a lot of offbeats. Ba, 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 ba. Uh, when I said ba, that was off of the beat, where this was the beat. So syncopation really helps capture attention, which is something that you're really gonna wanna do for when you're trying to get inside of your mind when you're feeling depressed. So you're trying to craft out really powerful music so that when you listen to it, you're like, oh my God, I, I, who am I? That's the big question you want to really come out. Who am I? Realizing who you are again, and then getting back into the flow of life. So we're gonna put some syncopation in this. Let's say we're doing it for a while. I gotta get home to my love. I just took too much time to be alone with myself with this with this job that I hate, and I'm just running around making up all the time, and I'm trying to find a way back, way back. And that's a word I do a lot too. Way back, way back, way. I it's like a couplet, and we call it whenever there's like two of two notes. They're typically called couplets, and I'm calling this a lyrical couplet when we have two words instead of notes that are going back and forth together. And it's very similar to the techniques we talked about before. Way back, way back, way back, way back. I've been working too hard. I've been working too hard. Trying to drive myself crazy. Trying to live well. Trying to drive myself crazy. And I try to find a word that's like, ooh, this is like different and metaphoric. This creates a good sense of imagery. Especially because we're doing songwriting via story so stories you've got to find that image that's what makes some books so amazing to read because they really capture that imagery so finding any metaphor that you're saying or saying anything poetic and really taking that and running with it making that a motive is something that we call in music something that's repeating a theme that's repeating a motive can be a collection of words it can be a phrase Driving me, driving me crazy. So that's like a hooking thing because it's so dense, because it has all these poetic meanings behind it. It makes it denser, it makes it more powerful.